Yo, what's up, swag? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy KLR, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, shout out to that boy Jabari, man. You know, we about to get into, you know, the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson situation, which I did not talk about it, to be honest, you know. Um, bro, we gotta get into it, bro. I'm so ready to watch this this fight with Jake Paul. I'm not gonna lie, Jake Paul, I don't know how he gonna pull it off, but you never know. Everybody is talking about Mike Tyson is old and this and that. Look, y'all. Mike Tyson still like that. <laughs> He's still like that. I'm not going to lie. My ass would be scared as hell in that bitch. And I know Jake Paul's scared too, but he is different. I wouldn't be doing that. You know? Now, I will, you know, I will go against Derrick Henry or any other running back or whatever like that. Me, as a defensive player, you know, playing football. But I would not sit my black ass in that ring and... Go 10, whatever rounds, 8 rounds with Mike Tyson. Huh. Hell no, he ain't gonna bite off my damn gear. Alright, let's get into it. At this point, we are around a month and a half away from the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul boxing match. Just saying that sentence out loud is enough for me to believe that we are living within a simulation. Regardless, the announcement of this fight was met with a lot of criticism. That hard. People saying that it would be rigged from the start, seeing that it was being promoted as an exhibition match yeah. that would not land on either fighter's record. Do you wish it was a sanctioned fight and not an exhibition like it's going to be? No, because I would feel really bad for Jake Paul. Some people even predicted they would be wearing headgear, which would just be insanely lame. And of course, you have the crowd that feels like this is just Jake Paul beating up on yet another old retired fighter. <coughs> but let's be clear, while Tyson is far past his prime, this is not exactly Ben Askren stepping into the ring. Like, this guy is still a certified killer, I don't care what his age is. And if you literally. told people five years ago that this- Literally, I literally said that. Sneeze, Jake Paul would be taking on Mike Tyson in any form or fashion, they would have laughed you out the room. What do you think of his boxing ability? I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTube. And, and I'm guessing the promotional teams and the fighter camps have heard the words of the critics, and they've now made some amendments to this fight that has me thinking that no one is going to be taking a dive or going easy on the other fighter at all. Because with these amendments, there will be a lot more at stake. So here's the new rules for the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. So it will now be an officially sanctioned professional fight. The result will go on their actual record. Knockouts will be permitted so there's not some type of no knockout clause. The fight will now consist of eight two minute rounds. Which to me definitely favors Mike Tyson, you know, he's a little bit older, he likely lacks the stamina, a lot of the clips that we've seen of him are extremely short, so yes, the two minute rounds will definitely help Mike, fighters will be wearing 14 ounce gloves, and last but not least, no headgear is going to be used. So like I said previously, now there's going to be a lot more at stake. I mean, just knowing that this man is now going to be on Mike Tyson's official fight record, whether he wins or loses. The next time I see Kendra, I'm ripping her head off. Do it. She doesn't know who she's messing with. Hey, Lisa. Oh, my God. Hey, Lisa. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. God, hey, Kendra. It's just absolute insanity. And listen, I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Now, Mike Tyson has continued to post these training videos. On this one, he says, I can't wait for this to be Jake. <laughs> so he's clearly still looking pretty damn fast. It looks like there's obviously still some power behind those punches, but... Like I said, it would be nice to see a longer actual sparring clip from Tyson because we really don't know if all he has left is these short bursts. <laughs> I mean, I think even if he just plays it right and plays it kind of slow and really picks and chooses when to unleash on this man, Jake Paul, and can kind of keep that head moving, he should have no problem sleeping the former YouTuber. <laughs> to say out of all the training footage that mike has released this has to be my favorite where he's running some sort of straight line sprint and the man sounds like a hungry rottweiler being called for dinner <laughs> like why 
why is Mike running away like a bad toddler who's running away with something he shouldn't have in his hands? He would also why say, this run like yes, that? it's a real sanctioned fight with Jake Paul. And then here's the new flyer for the event. Paul versus Tyson, sanctioned as a pro fight. Who wins? And I hear that the demand for the tickets for this event has been some of the craziest that we've ever seen at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, which has done some massive events in the past. So that's how you know people are hyped up to see what could very likely be Mike Tyson's last official pro fight. Like, does anything say social media era more than this? Like, we gotta give Jake credit just like we gave Logan credit when he fought Floyd Mayweather. For them to be able to do that just off the pure strength of the amount of clout they have is pretty damn insane. And we just got here through hard work, taking risks, and knocking people out, and that's what I'm going to keep on doing on July 20th. Mikey, Uncle Mike, I love you. You're looking amazing, but there can only be one winner, and I'm sorry, but I got to end you, brother. Now, even with all of that fight footage being shown, yes, Mike Tyson is looking very scary, but I believe this is the real reason that Jake Paul should be scared about this fight. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking student of war. I know all the warriors from, from Charlemagne, Achilles, the number one warrior of all warriors. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because I saw my, I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. Now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on feeling the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying. Because I'm not that person no more. And I miss you. Sometimes I feel like a bitch because I don't want to, I don't want that person to come out because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. It really does seem like Mike Tyson has really had to work hard in his life to become a more reserved, less extreme person. But I have to say, I really hope the Beast comes out for this fight. He's been wearing those chains around himself for probably the greater part of the last two decades. And to see him come out and unleash that Beast and unleash an absolute old man ass whooping on Jake Paul would have to be one of the greatest things we've ever seen. And on the contrary, if Disney Jake Paul somehow sleeps Mike Tyson or even wins the fight by decision, I mean, I hate to say it, but that changes Mike's legacy forever. Now, here's more reason for Jake to be scared. Mike Tyson reveals that he's holding out on not only sex, but also weed ahead of the Jake Paul fight. This is going to be like a pent-up pit bull who hasn't got exercise in weeks, okay? He's just been tearing up the house, being unleashed on a beagle. You actually said if, if I don't use it for a week or three days, you're a totally different person, and this is what you said about yourself. You're not a likable person. Well, but I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight, and I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. And just a little bonus clip to end the video that has been going viral, where Mike Tyson has to remove P. Diddy's hand from his thigh during this live TV interview back in the 90s. The boy truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yeah, he's literally. He's telling you about that. Well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy, and if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around with my brother. All right, we'll be right back with more right after this. That is the face of a man that has just been rejected in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Obviously, Mike was not playing that type of shit, and I really just think it's crazy that seemingly everyone within the industry knew what type of time Diddy was on, and now we just might get a chance to see it all come to light. Either way, I want to know what you guys think about this upcoming Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight, but y'all let me know what you guys think down- That's crazy, bro. But, man, oh man, I don't know who I'm gonna go for, to be honest. But F it. I'm going to just keep it real. I'm going for Jake Paul. I'm going for Jake Paul because I want to see Jake Paul win. And, it, you know, that's just, you know, just, you know, that's just the bottom line. I'm a YouTuber. He did YouTubing and stuff like that. I'm going for Jake Paul. I want to see it happen. I want to see Jake Paul go crazy. I want to see him jib and jab. Mike Tyson, I like you, but Jake Paul's going to end you. 